Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. There it is. At freaking six. Again. We're playing some more Gran Turismo 2. And uh, we got done with Tahiti Road and we got an awesome, awesome prize car for it that I'll be using later. But we still have to deal with this thing again. And uh, we tried to do this race at the end of the last episode and we ended up getting sixth place again because I ended up messing it up in the last turn and it was total crap and so now because you know ra the racing gods hate my very existence we have to try this again the only positive that I can even draw out of this is now that I've done it tw like twice you know I know exactly what to do I'm just hoping at this point that I don't totally ruin it in the last turn again because that's totally how it would happen that's the type of luck I would have but hopefully now that I've got like all the turns done, I know exactly how to take them all. I should be able to do this without a problem. So, but we'll, then, you know, with my luck, we'll see exactly what happens there. So, hopefully, I can. Uh, hopefully, with these cards, I can. Going through a lot of these turns, I can just slide right inside. <laughs> Actually, sounded really dirty. I was gonna slide inside of them. No, I'm. I meant like establish like inside presence, you know, and overtake them, and then go from there. That's kind of what I was trying to explain, but it didn't really come out that way. But, here we go. I just can't fathom, for what reason, this race is so much harder than Tahiti Road, when Tahiti Road's not even on, like, actual concrete pavement. It's on, like, loose gravel, and so... But yet, I was able to totally dominate that one. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but then again, that's video game logic for you. Things aren't supposed to make sense in, in the world of racing, it just happens that way we're gonna we're gonna kind of go along with that mantra that I built last time of you know take it slow and there you go but I kind of need to get into first place before I really bring that back out of the shadows again I'm really hungry like I kind of I kind of want to go get like some Panda Express or something that sounds really good but I probably shouldn't because I've been spending a lot of money on fast food lately and that's that's not a good idea I'm sitting here trying to save money, and I'm blowing it all on really good fast food. The problem is, oh, dude, that Beijing beef, though, it's so good. It's, like, almost too good. It's almost too good, physically. That and, like, that new, uh, what the hell is it called? Like, sweet fire honey chicken breast thing or whatever. It's, it's, that's really good, too. And, like, their chow mein's awesome. Can't go wrong with that either, but if I'm going to be, you know, throwing massive amounts of champagne into my stomach. I should probably make sure I have food in there first. I'll probably end up making like a, like a ham sandwich, let's be honest. I'm not even, I'm, I, I talk up a big game, but that doesn't really mean I'm going to do anything about it. But they, uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm super pissed at Panda Express, and actually a lot of fast food restaurants in general, because they all get rid of my... They, they just got rid of my favorite item on the menu. And like so many places do that. They got rid of the Mandarin Chicken. And I was, like, pissed. I was like, why would you even do that? I mean, they replaced it with, like, this teriyaki chicken stuff, which I'm sure is awesome. I mean, I've got no beef with that. But it's just the fact that, like, they always get rid of my favorite thing. Like, they got rid of, of the Mandarin chicken and, let's see, uh, Taco Bell. They got rid of, they got rid of uh, the Mexi nuggets when they were out, and they replaced them with those cheesy Fiesta potatoes, which everybody seems to hate for some reason. I actually like them. I mean... It's definitely not as good as the Mexi Nuggets, but I'll take it. Or like the when they had those those like steak those like grilled steak taquito things, those were awesome. And they got rid of those too. It's like are you, it's like they know everything that I like and they get rid of them. And like even Applebee's, uh, they got rid of my favorite thing on the menu. They got rid of the uh, the cheesy bacon tavern chips. It was on their appetizer menu back when I was in high school. They got rid of that too. Even though I don't really remember everything that was in it, but you can probably you know fill in the blanks on what was there. And, uh, let's see, Del Taco got rid of my, they got rid of my jalapeno rings. Um, so it's like, all these places, just, they always get rid of everything that I like. It's like, why? Is it because, it's like, it's like they, they have like this, this bond with my brain and my heart and my stomach, and they're like, ah, I know what he likes, and I'm not gonna let him have it anymore, because he sucks. It's like, why? Why have you forsaken me? What did I ever do to you? I gave you guys countless amounts of money for those things. You just you get rid of it anyways. All you want to do is just ruin my life one one disappearing meal at a time. 
Okay, here we go. All I gotta do is take it slow, and then there we'll go. And then I'll be done with the 80s cup. All I want is completion, dang it. I'm a taxpayer, darn it. Oh, my stomach is growling, and it's cutting into my focus. Come on, baby. Just gotta do this. This this turn is, is one that I'm worried about, and that last one is one that I'm worried about. Don't you dare. Oh, God, the guy almost... He almost ran it. He almost clipped me, too. He was trying to give me that pit maneuver so he could make me spin out and then he could take over and then he could laugh at me through his window with his weird aviator shades on as he went by. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna get through this one. There we go. That went over pretty well. That went over pretty well. Here comes that final turn, though. You should, if only you could hear my heartbeat right now. It is, like, pounding out of my chest in, like into the wall. Come on, baby, come on, please! Yes! Oh! They're right behind me. They're right behind me. Please don't fuck up, please! Yes! We're gonna win! We're gonna win! Yeah! Suck on that, Nissan March! Super Turbo and the RX-7 that did really bad last time, but he's still there. Thank you! Thank you! I win! Finally! It's a miracle! Done. The 80s Sports Car Cup is now complete with a new car. And I have more things I need to, you know, do a fire sale of in my garage and get rid of them so that I don't not have room for cars. All right. Well, that's great. So what they give us? A Mugen Integra. Is this just like Honda Day right now or what? I literally got a Mugen every type of like import Honda car that people drive around here. So we got this we got this awesome skyline silhouette and I don't know whether this would be considered like a uh, like a touring car or not. I don't really know what it classifies at as, but I intend to find out. So let's see. Would it be considered a grand touring car? Let's try. Ooh, it is. Wow, that was great. Well, there we go. I don't really know how we're going to stack up here, but I just want I just want to try it out. I mean, it may work, it may not. I have no idea how well this thing's going to handle because it's got rear-wheel drive, and I was just driving something with that. Oh, it sounds so awesome. What are these other cars here? I don't even know what they are. I guess I'll find it. One of them's a Corvette. One of them's a Skyline. I feel like this is going to be very, very unfair, but I don't really care at all. Okay, so I have a Skyline that I can use. That's a, that's a Camaro. That's a Corvette. Oh, dude, this is going to be so unfair for these guys. I'm going to totally destroy them, but I, you know what? I deserve that. I totally deserve that after the last couple of episodes that I've had. I, I deserve to be able to totally obliterate some guys for once. And we're going to get a really awesome prize car out of this, too. I know that for a fact, because this is supposed to be the last one in this set. So they always give you the best car that. Oh no, oh no. Don't spin out. I know you're driving in the grass. Don't do that. This actually has pretty decent handling for a car with uh, with rear-wheel drive. As I say that, he's just about ready to spin out. But at least we know we have another car that we can use for that later on. I mean, we, we, have, uh, we have that skyline that we were using in the very, very beginning, so that'll probably, that'll suffice for later. So I, I'm kind of cool with that. I, I don't have to go out and buy another car for this. That'll be... That'll be just splendid. Dude, this thing is sick. I don't know what, like, what year this car is, but it's... It's damn awesome. That's all I have to say about that. It is a damn good car. Woo! Ah, oh, just listen to it. It sounds so great. Well, I mean, as long as I don't spin out here, we've got this thing pretty much well in hand right now. It's going to be pretty solid. I hope I don't get home really late tonight. That's what I thats what I worry about. Whenever I go out to parties and shows and things, I never get home till really late, and everybody around me has been getting really sick lately, and I'm really trying to not do that. My brother just got done being sick, and he was, he's been sick since, like, Tuesday. So I'm not trying to, you know, come down with that. 
because whenever I go out and I stay out really late, I get my body gets run down, and then I start getting like the sinus crap, and then I start sneezing and coughing, and yeah, well, you guys know how I sound when that's all going on. I sound like absolute hell, frozen over. There we go. Dude, this car is so awesome. This is this is just like the greatest day. We finally got done with our nemesis track that's been, you know, the bane of my existence a couple of different times now with that 80 sports car and we had to do the muscle car cup. We had to deal with that a time or two, I think, and it was hard. But now, this is this is the fruit of the loom right here. Now we got this beastly ass car that's just ruining everybody's innards from the inside out. Taking no prisoners whatsoever. Hopefully I'll be able to use this somewhere else too, because this is this thing is just, you know, cashing checks and snapping necks right now. But as soon as we get done with this video, I'll, uh, it'll be all the time I have, actually. I'm trying to, you know, stay right around that same time limit, but I'm getting so hungry that I don't even think I can handle it anymore. All that talk of, of you know, eating uh, Panda Express and just food in general is just, it's making, it's making me salivate. Like I've had to, I've had to swallow a couple of extra times here because I've got so much like saliva going on here. <laughs> saliva, pass. You could do better. Oh, don't worry about me, dog. I've been canned. Man, look at that margin of victory. As if there were any question whatsoever that we were gonna, that we were gonna win that. Woo! Skyline silhouette, giving him giving them the hard stuff. To my ladies, we gonna start the hard stuff. The hard stuff? Well, there we go. Like, it almost looks like it'd be a rally car, but I don't feel like that would make a very good rally car. I just, I really don't think that it would. A rear-wheel drive car in a rally scenario would just be a terrible idea. I'd be, I'd be do it'd be really good if you're trying to, you know, you know, do cookies and crap out there, but I'm not. I'm really not. That'd be a really, that'd be a terrible ice cream flavor, by the way. Cookies and crap. Oh, 69 days. Ho oh, ho, that's really funny. It's not funny. I say that a lot, though. A Unicia? Oh! Dang, look at that. The Unicia Jex Skyline, huh? So would that be considered a rally car, I wonder? We could probably, it could probably be used for that, I'll bet. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Skyline. Who knows? I don't even know, but we intend to find out. So, what's going to happen next time, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to jump into this skyline right here, and uh, we are going to have some fun doing the other uh, touring car races. So, when we come back next time, we're going to do that. So, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time for a couple more. So, you guys, uh, take care. Have a good night. Be safe. Don't do anything stupid. And uh, let me know what's going on. Peace out.